Well, some sobering statistics. One in three women in New Zealand will experience partner violence at some point in their lives. Less than 20% of abuse cases are reported, and police attend a family violence incident every five and a half minutes. Today is the annual White Ribbon Day, which this year holds respectful relationships as its focus. White Ribbon Ambassador Richie Hardcore, whose fighting career spans more than 20 years, is here now to tell us more about this very important campaign. Welcome, Richie. Hey, thanks for having me. Really nice to have you here. I mean, you've got a very impressive fighting career behind you. So it might seem strange to some people that you are the ambassador for this. Yeah, well, you know, kickboxing is a sport. You know, it's like rugby or soccer or netball or anything. It's a place where people can take whatever it is that drives them and and channel it into something healthy. And it's a discipline, I guess, and that's pretty much what White Ribbon is about, isn't it? It's about a, a discipline, you know, learning to, to know the signs and to deal with what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, conflict in relationships is a normal part of the human experience, but it's how do you deal with those feelings, you know? How do we communicate in a non-violent way? How do we act out in a, in a non-violent way, in a... In a um, constructive fashion you know with within our families yeah because conflict is is normal but it's the way you do that conflict that exactly you've got to really think about isn't it yeah so how did you get involved um i've been involved in advocacy for you know the time before facebook and <gasps> what there was such a thing <laughs> yeah yeah you may remember message boards <laughs> oh, oh that's right yeah. Message boards. Wow. um yeah and i've always just spoken on it you know i've done radio uh for over 15 years and I've always used whatever platform I had to talk about issues that I thought were important and then I became a board member at Rape Prevention Education and then I was nominated to become a White Ribbon Ambassador and now I'm a board member at White Ribbon um, and I've used social media to talk about sexual and domestic violence for a long time and it's really developed quite a quite a following, quite a platform. Now, because obviously the, f <clears throat> the fighting part pays the bills, Richie, but what fascinates me with you is that you do do a lot. Uh, you know, why do you care so much? What is it that drives you to do it? I guess I grew up in, I grew up in a, a family where, um, you know, domestic violence and alcoholism were a feature, so I understand what it feels like to grow up like that, and I guess I want to live in a society where, where kids have it better. You know, like I, I think that if you have a platform, you have a responsibility to use it for for good, you know, not just for, you know, it's cool getting free sneakers sent to you for Instagram, <laughs> but, but if you can encourage people to yeah. think and act and live differently yeah. and, and, and make a difference, no matter how small, then it, it's vital to do that. So this year is all about respectful relationships. Yeah. What can we do to have respectful relationships? I think the best way to teach our young people, because White Ribbon's really about... You make us all sound geriatric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Our young> people! <laughs> hey, man, like... I, <laughs> You're this, not wrong. This, yeah. <laughs> my, my joints are pretty creaky. <laughs> um, you know, we, we're thinking, like, how can fathers, how can big brothers, how can men role model good behaviours to their sons? It's really not just about talking about what respect is it's about being respectful you know it's about talking with your partner not yelling at them it's about talking about what a healthy respectful sexual relationship is as your kids get older you know we know through our research and, and anecdotally that that young boys are getting their, their sex education from things like pornography exactly. which which normalizes aggression and, and, and degradation against women so it's like how do we fill those spaces with something healthy and, and, and really role model and teach good behaviours rather than letting mainstream norms fill, fill, that, fill that gap? Is this about getting men talking to other men as well? Totally. You know, we know that most men aren't abusive. Mm. Most men are good men. But when we laugh at jokes or we share a Facebook meme without thinking about it, that normalises sexism and normalises the inequality that we continue to have between men and women in our society, it's kind of tacitly approving the status quo. So, so when your bro makes a joke, which deep down you know doesn't sit right with you, right. just have a gentle yeah. like, bro, you know, like, that's not what's up, you know. How do you how do you change that so people start thinking and about what they're saying? That is exactly it too, and that is it for our kids as well. When you encourage them to realise when their friends are doing things that they don't agree with, that they can actually say that to yeah. them. You know, you don't have to go along with that. It's very important. Yeah, and I love what you do, and thank you for being part of this. And for you at home, I tell you what, this White Ribbon Day appeal and I guess the key messages, uh, you can find all the details at the website and make sure you pick up the toolbox too because that is a really cool thing to have a look at. It'll certainly help. Take the White Ribbon Pledge.